Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. And this is the part 2 of the Bhuri Singh Museum series. In part 1, I covered the history and the central hall of the Bhuri Singh Museum. And in part 2, I will cover the Chamba Gallery, which is on the right side of the central hall. The entrance to the Chamba Gallery is decorated with Bang Dawari. The Chamba Gallery houses various artifacts of historical importance, while a few among them depicting history of Chamba. The objects in display are old doors from Rang Mahal and Bharmaur Kothi, wall paintings from Rang Mahal, China ware sculptures from British's time, metal sculptures, weapons, cannon, wooden sculpture of Buddha, an old Chamba Rumal, musical instruments, miniature Pahari paintings, and a Jharokha. The first thing that you see after the cannon when you enter the Chamba Gallery is the sculpture of Lord Buddha, known as the Buddha Shakyamuni. It is one of the finest specimen of art displayed in the Bhuri Singh Museum and it hails from the Kilong area. Buddha is shown in meditation seated under a Bodhi tree. Buddha is shown here seated, cross-legged, in deep contemplation, and to disturb his meditation, the daughters of Buddhist Satan are seen dancing on either side, and the demons are making noise. But Buddha remains unaffected. He is shown with one hand touching the earth, indicating that he will not get up until he attains enlightenment. The first words which he uttered after enlightenment as told to Subhuti, Buddha's disciple, are, I gained not the least from this complete and unexcelled awakening, and for this reason it is complete and unexcelled awakening. In effect, the main crux of psychology is what happens inside the mind when one is encountered by something which happens outside the mind. As taught by Buddhist doctrine, one remains unperturbed, peaceful and calm while facing outward disturbing situations in life as seen in this culture too. In the museum, there are some wall paintings dating back to early 19th century, extracted from Rangmahal. These wall paintings were extracted by the National Museum, New Delhi, in 1956 and were displayed there. However, few wall paintings are displayed here too. This was the first experiment of extracting paintings from the wall. In one of the present paintings on display, Parvati, the consort of Lord Shiva, is offering bhang to him and in the background early morning scene is depicted. In the other painting, drawn from the Bhagavad Puran, Yashoda is chastising Lord Krishna for upsetting the milk pot. His other friends are seen escaping through the door. On display in the museum is a showcase with weapons of offence and defence. The central piece is the chain armour known as the Jira Bakhtar, which the warriors used to wear when proceeding to battle. Hand axes or battle axes are also on display. 
The hand axes are of various types and one of them is with the wooden handle and one of them is adorned with a lion. Some of the axes are having sharp pointed ends to use the axe as thrust weapon. The axes are shown with various types of handles and plates. There is a bheed cheer or the crowd scatterer. It was used by the warrior when he was overwhelmed by the enemy crowd. The katar is worth mentioning because it was a very popular weapon with the Rajput rulers and there is hardly any pahadi painting of the ruler where he is not shown with the katar tucked in his waistband. It could be drawn out in a split of a second and thrust into the body of the enemy in the heat of the moment. It had a H-shaped handle with a sharp pointed blade. There are also swords of various types. These swords has steel hilts. At times these hilts or the hathelis especially of the ruler were beautifully decorated with animal or vegetal motifs. Most of the pistols shown here are of flint lock type. They were introduced to Chamba at the time of Britishers but the Pahari rulers never favored them and so swords and the H-shaped katar remained their favorite. Two of the round shields displayed in the Chamba gallery are made of rhinoceros skin. The present piece of wood carving displayed in the Chamba gallery is known as Jharokha. This projected bay window or the balcony was used by the ruler to sit and give darshans to the public standing below. The last thing that you will see while exiting the Chamba gallery is the wooden porch from the state kothi of Bharmaur which was ruined in the earthquake of 4th April 1905. The jams and uppermost lintel are decorated with floral and foliated design of 12 petaled rosettes each provided with an iron boss in its center. The lowermost lintel is adorned with six bells carved in high relief and enclosed with cusped arches. The second lintel has a repeat of half rosettes in triangles. Between the upper and lower lintels there are three rectangular panels carved with figures of deities. The central panel represents Vishnu seated on a lotus with his consort Lakshmi. He has four arms and holds his usual emblems. The left hand panel consists of three divisions. The central one contains the figures of Ram with bow and arrow and his consort Sita. On one side is his brother Lakshman and on the other is Hanuman approaching with the lotus flower as an offering. The right hand panel is also divided into 3 compartments. The central one is occupied by Brahma with four faces and four hands in which he holds the Vedas a rosary and a water pot to his left stands shiva and is accompanied by parvati and his bull nandi to brahma's right we have vishnu with his consort lakshmi so that was it for today's video if you like the video please don't forget to press the like button subscribe to my channel to watch more such videos on chamba thank you